assalamu alaikum hi i'm dr sahar afsha again and today uh, i am here with the talk topic of bio psychosocial model um being a public health specialist i think i can explain the aspects of this model and why it is important um in the medical students life or health professionals life by what for start what do we mean by bio social model some introduction about it uh it's an inter a uh, disciplinary model that looks um at the relationship between biology psychology and social uh environmental factors that how health in terms if you talk about health um, mentality and environment are interlinked for the prognosis of a disease or the outcome of a problem related to health um it is specifically the it was designed by george l engel in 1977 and it was considered as first of its kind uh to employ this type of multi faced uh thinking now why did is by social model important um to know and why did it become so famous now let me introduce you to the idea that medicine especially from our perspective as as medical students if i talk from your your point of view we have a very limited approach of of medicine that is the idea is it's just therapeutic based or it is just a treatment oriented or what we have to do is just give the pill in order to treat the patient this is what medicine is for once we get into post graduation then we see and go out and and educate ourselves especially in terms of people who go out in academics um they learn that medicine is far more than this from research to health psychology to implementation of interventions medicine is very vast and it's very huge so biosocial model um gained popularity because of the fact that it connected different aspects of of um academics in one and came up with an approach that was uh, more effective in in preventive medicine basically it is a preventive health approach medicine approach so this is why it it gained it gained a lot of popularity so the biosocial model has received but on the other hand it has also received a lot of criticism that this type of model is not applicable everywhere It, it has been limited to mental health strategies more rather than other chronic diseases or other uh, acute situations in health but it can still i think it has a very strong influence in the field of psychology health medicine and human development so again what was the idea behind the model the bio psychosocial model does not believe that disease and illness is just as i as i said it is caused by uh viruses or bacteria when we we especially i being in the public health um we need to understand that a disease is just not caused by uh, a pathogen a disease or illness of human what uh, first of all how do you define a disease a disease is a state of not uh, of mind and body not up to a healthy mark we when we are physically or mentally not able to perform everyday duties we are considered ill we consider sick so now the idea is do you think every time when we are in, uh, in our day that does not let us do our activities virus bacteria no or is it some environmental factor especially when it comes to mental health sometimes when we are depressed or stressed out with anxiety we're not able to perform our daily task we don't feel like doing the work our productivity reduces a lot so this is the basic idea behind that it's not always a causative agent but the environment that influences um the human mind and body and that is very true even if the pathogen is is a part of the disease for example somebody suffering from cholera or hepatitis a uh, still the environment will plays the part it was the uh it was the contaminated water it was the contaminated food that caused it uh it was like in covid 19 we are seeing a uh, physical contact that was causing the disease prior to the antigen prior to the anti uh, prior to the pathogen sorry so we need this idea 
model is based on this idea that is not just the causative agent, but the environment that plays part in um, in disease and mental and physical illnesses. Uh, and it strongly follows the, the cost effective idea of prevention is better than cure. Now this is this this slide is is um is, is considered as an idea what it is about a model of health. It's a biological as it says it's a connection between biological, social and psychological aspects. By biological what do we mean? We mean physical health, disability, vulnerabilities, uh temperature, um drug effects and um social activities as what uh, peers um, peer pressures that we have, family circumstances, school, um, the environment around us that includes family, relationships, trauma, self-esteem, coping skills, social skills, all, all these together are become a part of our mental health. And this is very, very important. We need to, medical students, a normal student would perform so much better if he is in a good state of mind. He is in a productive state of mind. But on the other hand, um if 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 somebody is 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 not in a, is, is influenced by family problems like covid 19 has really really affected people's mental health so biosocial uh, model is is a classic example of it that how does the environment the strategies the idea the problems that arose due to covid 19 from isolating ourselves and not being social not being able to meet our family friends financial peer pressures uh, physical health that we were not able to go out and do our physical activities um, we were discussing communication was limited everything defines this model especially with this COVID-19 that how biosocial model is effective in terms of mental health so mental health made easy by psychosocial model social psychosocial model advocates for good mental health and emotional health of, of being in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle now what is a healthy lifestyle when a mind and body are uh, in the best of the shape you feel good about it you know that you can perform all the activities essential for life apart from that you can smile you can be happy you can be productive you could be helpful this is all being in a good state of mind uh and on the other hand um controlling our mental health as well as the effects of the society can have on us is in our own hands and success and how we can uh, we can prevent this environment and other uh, psychological factors to affect our mental health and how to deal with that this is what the idea was to to handle the treatment or therapy uh, designed by the psychosocial model of healthcare is still really made in order to suit a particular patient's psychological uh, social needs and wants unlike the biomedical approach that is just treatment oriented. It does not take the person's mind and emotions as well as social effects into consideration. This approach is used on an individual level. Like a lot of the other models, including the biomedical approach, uh, where we do not consider the, the, um, the, how the patient feels about it, what's going on in the mind, how the family affecting him while the treatment, we are just focused on the treatment methods rather than the psychological aspects of it patient so the the so um the biosocial model is basically based on treatment as well you need to understand that being a physician it is our responsibility to keep in mind the mental health of the patient even if you're treating him for something very small uh from from a, a common flu to uh, to cancer patients communication consultation empathy passion passion compassionate nature these are all the first line therapies that you need to provide to your patient apart from just the treatment regimes apart from the management apart from the diagnosis a patient will never be satisfied until unless we keep in mind their mental where they're coming from what is going on uh, what was the background the cultural aspect the regional aspect uh, the the family traditions the taboos of the society and a physician especially if you talk about public health and family physician they are the managers of the society a family physician is very strongly related uh, to the voice of the society he knows what is going on suppose um, in certain cultures the women are not allowed to speak a family physician or the family doctor he should know what is going on in his community when it comes to treating those 
those female patients, he should be more empathetic, more understanding, and try to communicate more in order to open up about the problem. What caused the problem? What is aggravating the disease? Um, is there, for example, for if you talk about TB, tuberculosis, it is a, a, a treatment management regime one. On the other hand, there's a lot of cooperation needed from isolation to, to taking care of the patient, mental, physical, and, and nutritional health. Uh, it's, it's an extensive um, treatment. It, it's, it's based on days. So we need to keep in mind if a patient, we are prescribing a management to a patient, is the family cooperative? Is he able to do it? What sort of circumstances is he in? We can just hand him out a, a piece of paper stating that you need to eat this, you need to do that, and tell your family you need to. No, being a family physician, being the doctor uh, in, of the community, a public health doctor, our um, family physician, basically these are responsibilities of the family physician. You need to take into consideration all the mental, emotional, social aspects that affects a patient's health. So again, um, this is an example that mental health by social model is very strongly related to mental health. And, and uh, what are the reasons and how it psychological beliefs, emotions, resilience. For example, a lot of patients, a lot of uh, people in the community, they are very resistant to, to vaccinations. And once a child gets sick with, with meningitis or influenza, they come up with a problem. You need to advocate to them as a health specialist that this happened because of this and I need to educate them regarding vaccination so it doesn't happen in the future generation. This is your responsibility, but you need to keep in mind their beliefs. Why didn't they take it initially? What was the problem? What was the hurdle? What questions should they have? Communication is the key when keeping in mind the psychological, social aspects of the patient for better treatment. So like any other model and any other idea that comes out in the society, there are always pros and cons to it, there are always criticism to it. Uh, they're all just praise to it. So one of the pros was taking into account interaction between forces affecting psychological functioning, that is the environment, the family, the social uh, peer pressures and everything together. Combining the treatment, tailor for it. Now how, what does it mean by combining treatment? For example, there's a patient with chronic disease, um, obesity, um, hypertension, diabetes. Uh, prescribing pills or treatment is, writing medication is not just the only way. Uh, how would we, tailor it for the individual by prescribing physical activity, by um, providing interventions or programs that are related to hypertension, by educating them, by health promotion. Now everything goes together and this is what biosocial model is about. Now the cons of it, how to find one specific cause of the problem. Can be difficult to research how to find single individual. Okay, uh, we will talk about some of the detail why is it, why did it gain popularity and what is the real advantage? Again, the basic biosocial model has a very strong significant effect in the mental health and psychiatric uh, medicine. It's mostly used. So the biosocial model has many uses in health and medicine, helps physician better understand it. This is what I was talking about. A physician can communicate and consult the patient in a better way for a more productive uh, management, um, cooperation from the family, along with um, understanding of the patient behaviors and his, his fears and, and what he, especially when it comes to chronic disease like cancer, patient have a lot of concern and the families are very worried about uh, the chemotherapy, the side effects, how long will it take, what will happen. This is a doctor's responsibility to be empathetic and explain everything. This comes from a place of empathy again. So the next is this ISO model within health and medicine relates to pain as well. As I, I have mentioned, the chemotherapy is a pain procedure. Um, a patient will go through um, oncology procedures, they, they go through mental and physical pain a lot. So it's very effective in such cases. Uh, again, there's, an, uh, there's a theory related to it. One of them is the development of psychology, intersection between nature and nurture debate. There's, this is a theory between how nature can affect human nature uh, and how it, 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 it influences it and otherwise. So this model basically uh, allows the developmental psychology as a theoretical basis for the interplay of both hereditary and psychological factors on an individual's development. Now again, what are the disadvantages and uh, why it is not very implicable? This has been, the biosocial model has been limited to mental health again. A lot of um, problems to like acute cases cannot be really defined in such aspect like 
uh, by in a biosocial model. The, and, and this is why its role has been limited to mental health and psychiatry. Uh, Criticisms are resuming every mental disorder. And again, mental disorder is not just in, 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 in a wider sense, but certain mental disorder. And uh, they, they have this, this thing that some uh, that incorrect behaviors, uh, such as antisocial behaviors, for instance, cannot be treated as medical condition. Um, as very rarely to do biological factors have a role to introduce it. So critics feel that assuming such behaviors to be a disease reduces the credibility of the field of psychiatry. Like there are a lot of like shyness is, cannot be considered a disease. Certain behaviors cannot be considered a disease or a mental health issue and we cannot debate. But in psychology, uh, they are considered a problem. They are treatment, psychological treatment for those attitudes. But medically, they do not have a definition. So psychology, medicine, biology, and social. So in certain areas, it cannot have the impact that we expect. So there's, there's, these are a few disadvantages as well, that some of the critics, they feel it's a very vague idea. It needs to be more precise. It needs to be more uh, up to the point, up to the mark, that what is actually talking about, and why is it limited to mental health only? It should be in a broader sense towards patients. So in short, biosocial model is a connection between mental, physical, and emotional aspects of the patient. I believe personally, from a because I'm a family physician and public health specialist, I believe it's a very, it's a very good uh, way to, um, to deal in, in everyday incoming patients. Uh, if you keep in mind that I need to keep in mind a bio um, that is physical, social, and, and psychological aspects of the patient, it gives you a, a combined way uh, to consult a, a patient. And it helps you have a better understanding from where the patient's coming from, especially when it comes to mental health, such as suicide, tendency, depression, anxiety, uh, what is environmental factors, family pay, the role the family pay. Everything comes into contact altogether. Patient centered interview methods have been suggested to be used in practice. So, BPS model is specific to each patient. Um, again, it does not apply to every other patient, but in a broader sense, on a general sense, it's very applicable and come up with better results, more satisfactory practice, medical practice, and um, I think uh, a very uh, simple approach to consultation and communication. We need, as physicians, we need to keep in mind that communication is the key for effective uh, medical practice. And communication comes with consideration and uh, idea um, and, and, and the exposure of the society. And this is very well explained by a biosocial model. So this is enough from, from medical um, uh, students' point of view at this level. Uh, why is it important and why should we keep in mind, especially during our practice, and why is it implicated um, and how to implement it in the future, especially as family physicians as physician, future physicians in our life. Thank you so much. This is Sahar and Sahar Raksha, and uh, I'll be coming up with more um, lectures. Please let me know what you want to learn, especially in public health community, community medicine and family medicine, other topics that you'd like to know. Leave um, a comment um, in the YouTube channel that we have today, and I'll get back to all of you with all your inquiries and answers. Thank you so much.